right boys and girls welcome now today we are back in the forest we are also gonna be chatting about was it the scariest people i've ever encountered in world football so you just got cane 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 you just got cane. You just got cane. You just got cane. You just got cane. So we're starting off scary. Why the boys at the back have their face covered? We won't know. But then the geezer at the front, who could tell? He is honestly under the impression he is the most intimidating creature we're ever gonna meet. You just got cane. He thinks that's got us jittering. They're a bunch of wankers, really. All right, next up and recently, obviously, Arsenal beat Chelsea in the FA Cup final. How do you think it's gonna fare for you? Five. 5-0 to the boys! Now I'm not even joking! I reckon we could do it today. 5-0. Uh, here's a little post-match interview with a lovely Arsenal fan. We said f you, we're FA Cup winners. Bollocks to the lot of ya. All you f haters, f off! We f your double up! <laughs> fat air, look. Well, just shut up. All right, next up we got one from overseas. All right, now this is the American, well, an American football team's fans chanting some nasty abuse at the other team. You're not singing over there. We talk about evil. <laughs> the grimacing sound coming from their throats, it will make enough for anyone to be scared. But I don't know, like, let's just quickly compare it right now to what an English group of fans would sound like. You're not Anyways, on a little side note, obviously recently I released a, a song called Far From You, but then this morning I was sent this. <laughs> Carry on doing that, you know. It's bad enough since obviously we did the dabbing video. 95% of the viewers I meet now. Oi, Wella! Wella! Your mum! All right, next up we have myself. So at the Chelsea versus Arsenal game, I got a bit livid. Basically, I was asked to do a picture where I hold the hashtag sign up because they wanted to do like a little thing. However, I was angry. So, what did I do? I put my middle finger up just to emphasize how hard I really am. Now, also recently, we had the Sidemen charity match, which was sick, amazing day. I didn't play because uh, I've just had knee surgery, so I was commentating with Elliot. Now, the reason why I bring this up is obviously at the end of the game, we basically had a bunch of absolute freaking wankers just run on the pitch, ruin the whole thing so that we couldn't do the trophy ceremony and pretty much come and meet everyone who came in attendance, like sign and take pictures and stuff. So, thanks. But like banter aside, this may actually mean that we may never be able to do these sorts of matches ever again because stadiums and clubs aren't going to want like pitch invasions. We're obviously going to try and do another one, but yeah, just in future, can you not, like I beg, can you not run on the pitch? Anyways. Alright, uh, this one's kind of related to football. It's got Liverpool in it. Ready to go to Liverpool. Bye, England. Bloody moron. How is she the only one that knows that Liverpool's not in England? It's in Kenya. Alright, uh, so recently the fact that I support Brighton and Hove Albion and Chelsea FC, uh, two football clubs, has made people even more livid on Twitter. Basically, no matter what I tweet, I constantly am just getting replies saying, Plastic. 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 Basically suggesting that I'm not a true football fan because I support more than one and I'm not loyal. One geezer even changed the Wikipedia of plastic to Plastic is a material consisting of Joe Weller. Alright, sod off. Now the geezer that made the changes to the plastic Wikipedia also said Come on then you little girl, you claim to make bangers but can you bang me out in a 1v1? I'm outside the Amex plastic boy. Oh but shock he doesn't even have himself as his profile pic. And that's what these like Twitter accounts do, that just constantly give it the big end. If it came to a real life situation, you're not gonna do shit. All right, all right it's, it's just, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna end with some other things that just aren't at all related to football because I've, oh, I, I want to. 69 kg of ginger steel and sex appeal. Here we have a nice summer fun inflatable toy that you can ride. It's also one of the UK's biggest national disasters. You know, so, I mean, have a bloody whale of a time, boys. You know what's more destructive than a nuclear bomb? Words. Not really. You know, if you think about it, mate. <laughs> Anyways, boys and girls, we have finished. This, is, this feels like it's been a bit of a classic whale of video, isn't it? Like, I, I feel, this just is my style. 
It's taken, yeah. This is what you've been meaning when you say, well, I bring like your old stuff back and it feels like I've sort of realized that. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope you have enjoyed it. Obviously, I did bring out some songs recently, so thank you for the support. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, boys and girls, please leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you're new, and... Boys and girls, your boy Weller, he's returned from the dead. He's come back to the little jungle, and now he's gonna shake some squirrels. All right, is it working?